Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and in today's video we're taking a look at more than 20 new hidden features that you will be able to find on your iPhone running the new iOS 16. Of course, iOS 16 is packed with new features. There are almost like 400 new features that Apple has added on iOS 16 and a lot of them are hidden but are actually very very useful so you must know about them. Another thing you must know is that most of you guys that are watching my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel. So if you enjoy the videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel. It really, really helps out a lot. And now let's move on to the hidden features. We're talking about screenshots first. So when you take a screenshot on iOS 16, you can just tap the share button right there and you will be able to rename that screenshot. You will have this button by tapping on it. You will get this pop-up that allows you to rename the screenshot to anything you want. And then of course, all you have to do is just tap done right there and you can save it under the camera roll or under files having that new name that you just entered. This feature right here is pretty cool. You can set an alarm on your device directly from the spotlight search without having to open the clock app at all. Just search for alarm and you can just tap go right there to create an alarm. Just like this, you have a new alarm created directly from the spotlight search. So wherever you can access the spotlight search, you can go ahead and just create an alarm from there without having to go to the app at all. When you type a name of one of your contacts on iMessage on iOS 16, now you will get right here on the predictive text field that contact. So if you want to mention that contact, you can enter it from here. So if I just type here the name of one of my contacts, you can see right there shows a name and it will also show the picture of that contact. So I can tap right there and of course enter that name on the message. Something really cool that Apple has done with iMessage on iOS 16 is that now you don't have to press and hold the voice recording button in order to record a voice message. All you have to do is just tap on it and now it's recording. You don't have to hold your finger there. You can just talk as much as you want. And once you're done, you tap again and you're good to go. And now let's move on to the settings app and we're going to Safari. This is a very useful feature that you will find on Safari in iOS 16. Whenever you want to clear all the data from Safari, but you have tabs open there, this will now give you an option. So if I just tap there, tap on clear history and data, now it will ask me whether I want to close or keep the tabs. So if you have tabs open, you don't want to leave them there. You can just tap close tabs and everything will be gone. Or if you want to clear everything, but you want to still keep the tabs that you have open, you choose keep tabs. With iOS 15, Apple has added extensions to Safari. Now on iOS 16, you will have the chance to share them across your devices. So if you use extensions on Safari on your iPhone, you don't have to install them on every other device. You just go to Safari right here under settings, go to extensions and just enable share across devices. And then all of your devices will have the exact same extensions on Safari. Now this right here is pretty tricky. You know that previously on iOS, you could set a photo from the photos library as the home screen wallpaper without having to set it on the lock screen as well. You can no longer do that on iOS 16 from the photos app but you can do that by going to settings. So if you just want to change the wallpaper only for your home screen, go to wallpaper under settings and then tap on customize. And this will give you the option to choose a photo and apply that photo only to your home screen, not the lock screen. New on iOS 16 is this search button on the home screen. So it basically takes you to the spotlight search. You can just swipe down or you can press the button right here to go to the spotlight search. Well, you can disable it if you just don't want to have it on the home screen. Head on to your settings, go to home screen settings and just disable the switch right here and it's gone from the home screen. Now here we have some really cool new features on the photos app. So if you go to one of your photos and you're editing the photo, now you will get actually two new buttons. So I can do some edits here, but I can also undo them or I can redo them from there. So anytime you're doing something on a photo, editing it, maybe cropping it or just adjusting the colors or anything you're doing, you can now also undo and redo anything that you have done. Now, this is one of my favorite features of the photos app on iOS 16. You can now finally search photos based on text 
that's on that photo. Now, previously on iOS 15, you could do this only from the spotlight search, but it actually didn't work that good. Now you can do that directly from the photos app. And as you can see, it works really, really well. And it will find the photos here, of course, containing the word that we want. So you can see right there, it will highlight the word that we have searched for, and it will have all the photos right there. A very, very easy way to find any photo you want, especially screenshots. You know that on iOS, you can adjust the date and the time and the location of pictures. Well, previously you had to do this one by one. With iOS 16, you can just select a bunch of photos. So here I have five different photos. I can tap the three dots here and I can adjust date and time and also adjust the location of these photos. I can do that all at once without having to do it individually for each photo. If you have a bunch of photos that you have edited, you want to revert them back to their original, you can just select them and do that for all of those photos. Just tap the three dots and you will get revert to original right there. And you can revert all of these photos at their original at the same time. iOS 16 has the new quick note feature. Well, that feature works pretty much anywhere on iOS. Wherever you can have access to the share sheet, you can have that feature. You can also add photos to a quick note directly from the photos app. Just tap the share button and you can just go ahead and add it to the quick note. So you can see from here, I can tap add the quick note and there I have it. We have now this added and you can see what it says right there, view album wallpapers. So from there, you can actually also view the, the album from where that photo came. The mail app has gotten some really useful features on iOS 16. And one of them is the ability to have iOS remind you later of an email. So when you go to your inbox and you find an email that you might need later on, you can have iOS 16 remind you of that email. Simply swipe from the left to the right and you get here, remind me, you tap on it and you can see you will get a few options, remind me in one hour, tonight or tomorrow or you can simply tap right here, remind me, and just pick any exact date and time you want the mail app to remind you of that email. On a previous video, I showed you guys how you can actually schedule emails on iOS 16. You can have an email scheduled and send it at any exact time and date that you want, but you also have a folder for those emails. Once you have created an email and you have scheduled it, this will pop up right here. It says send later. If you tap on it, you will find here all the different emails that you have scheduled to send later. On the lock screen of your iOS 16 device, when you go to add a new wallpaper or edit an existing wallpaper, you will find here a pretty cool option, which lets you change the colors of the wallpapers, basically add effects filters to your wallpapers. Now, some of them actually look really good and not all the, all the wallpapers have the same effects. This one right here, you can see it has like black and white and it has do tone and color wash as well. But some of them that are wallpapers that have the depth effect, get some really, really cool fil filters like this one right here. If I go to customize it, you can see now this is the default one and it has the studio one, which looks absolutely amazing. And then we have the black and white and we have the color drop. You can see this looks cool as well. So not all wallpapers get the same filters, but all of them will get some and they look pretty cool. On iOS 16, you know that we have the chance now to create wallpapers using emojis. Well, if you want to create one of these wallpapers, you can of course choose here the different emojis you want to use, but you will also have the chance to change the background of those emojis. Simply tap the three dots and from here you can pick any color you want to create those emojis. And of course, by swiping here, you can change the patterns of the emojis and make actually some really, really cool wallpaper. So you can see this one right here, pretty dope. This one as well, they look actually pretty cool. You can of course edit these change to different emojis and have some really, really interesting looking wallpapers. As you probably know, this is the new 
album art on the lock screen on iOS 16, the new lock screen when you're playing media. But of course, you can make this smaller if you just want to see your lock screen. You can actually tap anywhere on the lock screen. Most people think that they have to tap the album art here. You can actually just tap anywhere and it will minimize it. And of course, you will only have this card right here and not the album art covering the whole lock screen of your device. And when talking music, you can now finally sort playlists on your iPhone. You go to a playlist, you can tap the three dots right there, and you can sort by here, you can sort by title, artist, album, or release date. This is a much, much needed feature. A lot of people have actually been requesting this feature, and it's finally here with iOS 16. On the default calendar app on iOS 16, you can now finally copy and paste events. So just tap and hold an event and you can copy it. And if you're creating a new event, you will now have the chance to actually just paste. So you can see from clipboard, tap right there. And just like that, you will paste a new event. And last but not least, if you have an iPhone 13 or newer, Face ID works on the landscape mode as well. So if you have a newer device, as I said, iPhone 13, I don't know why Apple didn't make this feature available, only 12 Pros and 11s, they are pretty cool devices, so they should have this feature, but only on iPhone 13 and of course the new iPhone 14 models, you will have the chance to actually use Face ID on the landscape mode. So that's basically it for this video guys, thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe for more videos, leave a like on this one and I'll see you on the next video.